to have another interesting thing that there's a, this view also that light is a wave that follows a sine wave. It really originates from um, uh, from the English uh, Maxwell, James Clerk Maxwell, who um, you know who started a lot. Of, well, I mean, the wave theory actually goes back even to a person named Francesco Grimaldi in Italy, who was one of the first to suggest diffraction. But um, Maxwell came up with his idea that light was an electromagnetic wave, which I completely reject, or I doubt seriously, because, um, you know, there's nothing electrical about a beam of light. It has no el electrical uh, thing. Uh, and so, so, you know, the, the claim is that a beam of light is a sine wave in, in one dimension, uh, an electrical field, and then in the 90 degree direction, a sine wave. Uh, with a magnetic field, but I think what we find, I think that's probably wrong, especially when you have a magnifying glass and you focus light to a point. I mean, are you trying to tell me that the amplitude of the light is unaffected by that? You know, uh, I, I seriously doubt beams of light have amplitude. I think they're straight lines, they're, they're particle beams, you know. Um, there maybe is a so-called wavelength, but I think it's a photon interval. It's the interval between particles of, of light, probably. I mean, there's still a lot to explain and understand, and I think we should keep an open mind about everything about light. But I, I just think, you know, the idea that light is a sine is two sine waves of an electrical and a magnetic field. Also, it seems pretty clear that a magnetic field is simply an electrical field. And you know, um, Maxwell, in fact, did attempt to try and put together the electromagnetic force as one thing, as have many others. Um, I just think, you know, it's interesting that how you can explain it in a magnetic field is that there's basically a current running through, um, um, you know, magnetized materials, and that is what causes the electrical field. Uh, I'm surprised nobody had said that before. I'm also exploring these interesting ideas about, you know, these single, so-called single slit experiments where um, that Tom Young and, and Francisco D Grimaldi was really the first to do. Um, and I'm finding that, you know, they never explore the reflection off the inside of the aperture of the opening or the so-called slit in these experiments. They, I mean, maybe you can reject it and so on, but at least you ought to draw. So that's kind of an interesting thing I'm working on too right now.